Let's try that again. Twenty-seven, twenty-one, twenty-three. Oh, come on. Okay, that fixed it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that fixed it. I just removed anti-aliasing on that last scene. No idea why that part is so demanding. It's probably because of the rain, now that I think about it. per second on this part. Oh. Oh. I cannot keep it above 30 for some reason.
Remember when I said I'm gonna humiliate Sadler? You do know what this is. Hmm. Ten grenades in total. That's all it takes. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island too. She really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. That's See the only way to fight Sadler, by the way. Stun, lock him, stun him with something and then press E to climb on top of him. Very cute. And don't worry, you're not supposed to be impressed by this boss battle. We, are... we have to get off this island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what? Oh, you heard me, bitch. It's gonna blow up. Sweetheart. No pressure. Please, behind us. I know, just hold on. Ashley would die if she had that armor on. Ashley! Where are you? Leon! Help! Save me, Leon! Uh, come on. Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? Ashley wants so, the dick! Who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Look at their, uh, uh, eyelashes. They have their own hitboxes, which negates everything behind them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is done. That was Resident Evil 4. In professional mode. It took me less time than my first run, and also less saves than my first run. And final boss was an absolute joke. Like I said the first time around. 
It is not a funny boss because it's a gimmick boss. There is a one way to beat it really easily, and I just demonstrated what to do. Ten grenades is all that it takes. Or nine grenades and one elemental hazard. I'm not impressed. Not in the slightest. And, uh, that, that was, I have to say I enjoyed it. As much as I hated the beginning of the castle, after I get past that part, the game turned really enjoyable, even though the difficulty was ridiculous. And even though I did mess up a lot of times, I did die a lot of times. But I did some smart things do, like I skipped a few areas with a lot of enemies and I, you know, tried my best to, you know, get everything as, pos as much as possible. And in the end, I did manage to upgrade all my weapons, three weapons to be exact. I did manage to have a shit ton of magnum ammo that I never used. And I managed to kill Krauser really easily. And uh... I don't think I need to show the cutscenes again. So, when we get back to the mine menu... And again, is that you? Finally, the line's jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. <laughs> Leon's face is still no, paralyzed. Without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty? <laughs> oh my god, that face is fucking creepy. <laughs> that face was fucking creepy. <laughs> Uh, about 200 deaths, give or take. Oh! Huh? Ah, what the hell? A heart of steel, a dream has unlocked. Now you can buy an infinite launcher and Matilda from the merchant. Beginning the new game with this clear file and you will receive PRL 412 absolutely free. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on Resident Evil. I hope you enjoyed yourself, but uh, next up, I can't believe I'm saying this, next up is Dark Souls, I'm gonna be playing Dark Souls, and uh, I am actually going to be starting that in if you give me four or five minutes. So stick around.